today I want to talk about how to predict thermals, thermal wind. This morning it was dead still when we got to the tree stand. And normally in areas like this where we don't have a lot of elevation change, you know, just 100 feet maybe, maybe 200 feet from the ridge tops to the valleys, you don't have real strong thermal winds. But if you get into areas that are a little bit more mountainous, mountainous or have more terrain changes, you get a lot stronger thermal winds. But you still have to understand them, even in places like this, because they can come into play. The, the thermals follow the temperature change, the, the winds do. So in the evenings, like let's say you're sitting in a tree stand and, and uh, the sun is shining and it's beautiful and you know it's a still day, the air is going to tend to warm up closer to the ground because it's, you know, the dark trees, the dark ground, and it's going to try to rise. Well, if there's no wind to blow, like a day wind, then your scent is going to mostly be going upward. But then you get those days where, or that part of the day when, you know, the, the spot you're sitting starts to go into shade, into the shadows. Now everything starts to cool down and your scent is going to start to fall because the air is going to get heavier and then drop down. The heavier air falls, hits the ground, and it follows the terrain downward. Whereas the warm thermals tend to go straight up, the cool thermals go down, hit the ground, and then follow the ground downward. So it's almost like you pour water out. And if you say, which way would the water flow if I poured water out? That's where your scent is going to go on those days when it's really dead calm and the sun is starting to set, or your the area that you're hunting has fallen into shade. So it's a, it's a uh, certain situations, it really comes into play. So again, uh, just having that little understanding, don't worry about thermals if the wind is blowing. You know, if the forecast says 10 mile an hour wind out of the west, it's gonna be 10 miles out of the west. But if it says light and variable, or one mile per hour wind, or whatever, you can kind of count on the fact that your thermals are probably going to be the bigger factor that day than the winds that you would normally get. So that's just a quick tip. Uh, you know, it, it makes a difference. I mean, spots like this, I mean, it's, you can hunt them some days and you can't hunt them other days. It's perfect when the thermals are flowing down because all the trails are up above me. So keep checking back. We'll keep bringing you more tips right here at Midwest Whitetail How To.